My little lens is not. There we go. <laughs> Hi everyone, welcome back to this channel. Long time no see. I thought I would just do a little bit of an intro to this video because I did film this a couple weeks back and as I was editing it today, I did feel like it was a little bit out of context and the fact that I haven't been really uploading many videos on my channel in the last year, I thought I just wanted to quickly sit down and talk to you. I won't take up too much time because this is a vlog, it's not a sit down video. So first of all, I just wanted to quickly, very quickly address the fact that I haven't been posting for so long. I don't want to get too deep in this video. Essentially, my channel purpose, where I kind of have taken my channel for the last two, three, four years, I don't know how long it's been, is I've been moving to lifestyle, travel, my life in London, and honestly when the pandemic hit, I lost, I felt like I lost so much of my identity on YouTube. I feel like I'm getting weirdly teary over this. Obviously when we went into lockdown and the pandemic started, I don't want to talk about the pandemic too much, I, ugh. Obviously when everything kind of kicked off last year, it was a really difficult and weird time for everyone. I don't think anyone felt like the world was normal, um, and it still isn't. But on top of that, I was so confused where my channel direction should be alongside with that generally kind of in my career, in my life. I felt like I had a bit of a crisis. Anyway, here we are. I'm talking about it. I'm not going to go too deep. I promise I wouldn't go too deep. I lost myself in more ways than one, not just YouTube. And I find that quite difficult because it was at a time where everybody else was obviously struggling and there was a lot of shit going on. And me and my little identity crisis was really not the biggest problem in the world so you know shut up and move on caitlin so i've you know i've worked on myself especially in the last few months since the new year really i feel like i've made a lot of progress and i'm ready to kind of start easing myself back into the online world with that said the online world terrifies me now honestly i never thought i'd be somebody who would say that but the idea of filming a vlog posting a vlog posting an instagram posting an instagram story okay we could be here forever but the whole idea of posting something public online kind of terrifies me now and I, I I, don't know what's happened to me so I'm trying to step outside my comfort zone again and I'm getting back into it but just please bear with me. Not only am I dealing with this identity crisis that I'm having but I'm also dealing with major anxiety of posting. Whew. What is the purpose of this vlog? Because this is the reason why I want to chat to you quickly before I dive straight into a vlog because it had no context I realised when I edited it. Essentially, I work for Samsung. I've never fully addressed that on YouTube because I've always been a little bit more private with that kind of professional life. But I've decided I'm gonna say it, I'm gonna be open, I'm gonna be honest, I'm gonna be an open book in that kind of world. And if I can help you guys with that postgraduate life in future videos, then we need to start somewhere and I need to tell you where I work. So here we are. <laughs> I work at Samsung. And I've worked at Samsung for the last two years coming up for now since I graduated university in 2019. How disgusting is that? I graduated nearly two years ago now. Mad. But without boring you too much or diving too deep into anything, I just wanted to say that this is a vlog about my working day, a very unique working day at Samsung. I do not do this day to day, this is not my day job, this is just a really unique opportunity that Samsung provided me. What I love about Samsung is that there's so much opportunity and I do think naturally I do gravitate towards projects like this that you're going to see, so I wanted to show it as just like a snapshot of a super fun day at Samsung, but please do not think that this is what I do every day, I mean I love my job, but this is not what I do every day. <laughs> What you're about to see is a really exciting opportunity that Samsung let me get involved in. I was asked to host and kind of launch to press the new A-series phone. Now obviously Samsung are known for their phones, they have loads of them, they have some super cool ones like this little guy here. This is their flip, I mean it opens up like one of these old school 90s phones. Can we not, you know, is that not the coolest thing ever? But the A-series phones are like their range of really bright, vibrant like Gen Z. The phones essentially are really great for people like me. They are that young, kind of colorful, still a great camera phone, and at a really kind of reasonable price, not ridiculous, because phones nowadays are. So they asked me to launch it to press. It was a pre-filmed event, and then it was basically streamed 
to media and PR. They're called NDA briefings. They're essentially a briefing to press or media to tell them about something before it launches so that they can go ahead and write their articles, form their opinions, reviews, get them ready for the date that we go live. So I was the person telling them before and then we went live and they had all their info to chat about. So after all that massive ramble, this is the vlog you're about to see. I really hope you enjoy. I'll put a link to the phones down in the description if you want to check them out because they are really pretty. And my personal favorite is the purple one. I have my Samsung phone here. Sadly, it would be a bit stupid for me to get another one. But if I was gonna get one of them, the purple one is beautiful. I think the color is awesome violet. Check it out, it's beautiful. I'll link it down below. But anyway, enjoy the vlog. Bye. Good morning, everyone. I am quite an exciting day. I've been working from home for the last year basically because of the pandemic but today I'm getting to leave my home office and go to a shoot at King's Cross for the launch of a new phone. It launches in the next couple of weeks but they're doing the pre-filming and all the kind of press stuff today and they've asked me to be part of it, which is really, really exciting. So I am just getting ready right now. It's about six o'clock. I'm gonna be there for half past eight, but I'm gonna try and vlog today because I think it'll be quite interesting. This video won't be going up until the phone has launched. So I hope you enjoy this video and I'll talk to you later. I've arrived and I'm just gonna get my makeup done and I think the lady's just washing her hands so she'll be back in a second. I'm getting my makeup done, getting taken around the kind of area so I know what I'm doing and then I need to read my script a few more times because I haven't properly memorized it which is fine but it'd be nice to have it really familiar in my head. I have not had my makeup done by a makeup artist since I did modeling which is just seems like so long ago now so it's really kind of cool and familiar to see all this makeup. So my makeup has been done, the fire alarm is going off because they're testing it, so this is probably the worst time to film. Oh my god, I look so pale! So the makeup artist has done my makeup and made me look a lot nicer than I did before. And I'm now just going to go chat to people and see what's going on. Filming is done, it was really fun and I did do quite a few trip ups but the camera crew and the guys were really really lovely so it was fine, they put me at ease and I'm glad it's over but I'm also really happy with how it went. I really struggle to talk in these, I'm sorry if you can't hear me. I've now just had my lunch and I'm gonna go back home now and do a little bit of work but I'm noticing it's pouring with rain. home I made it back the weather is horrendous outside it's so rainy and it's kind of windy as well so it like blows into your face I was planning on going on a bit of a walk before I did a little bit of work this evening but I don't think that's gonna be possible because of the weather I don't know how much context I gave you to the event this morning and whilst I was at King's Cross store so to fill you in a little bit the event was essentially for press it was like a press event so it's classed as live because it will be streamed to press in a couple weeks time and they will all tune in so they won't be able to tune in after it'll just be this one-off kind of presentation but it's not live in the sense that i'm live i do love that kind of thing i really do i find it so fun and it gives me so much energy doing it people who are pursuing careers in presenting and all that jazz really admire them i think it's amazing i've also convinced myself that i need to get a new camera because the one i'm filming on right now is very battered and being surrounded in some amazing filming crew people with some crazy great cameras i am now gonna be on a hunt for a new camera you'll notice behind me i have my washing so i'm gonna go and do another load of washing and do some adult life admin. 